आई एम अनिल पवार असोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ फार्मसी डॉक्टर विश्वनाथ कराड़ एम आई टी वर्ल्ड पीस यूनिवर्सिटी पुणे सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट यू द मेथड यूज फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ब्लड ग्रुप सो फॉर दिस प्रैक्टिकल आई विल बी असिस्टेड विथ माय पी एच डी स्कॉलर मुकुल तांबे सो ब्लड ग्रुप इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डिटर्माइंड बिफोर ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन सो ब्लड इज हैविंग एलिथ्रोसाइट कॉल्ड एज अ रेड ब्लड सेल्स एंड सर्फेसेस ऑफ दिस रेड ब्लड सेल्स आर हैविंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एंटीजेंस मेनली देर आर एंटीजे ब्लड कंटेन्स एलिथ्रोसाइट नोन एज अ रेड ब्लड सेल्स एंड सर्फेसेस ऑफ दिस रेड ब्लड सेल्स कंटेन्स एंटीजेंस देर आर मेनली three types of antigens antigen a antigen b and antigen recess factor on these surfaces so all these antigens occurs in characteristic combinations so depending upon the presence of these antigens blood are classified into four types that is blood group a b blood group ab and blood, blood group o individuals do have or do not have rhesus antigen and status of this presence or absence of rhesus antigen is indicated by rhesus positive or rhesus negative for this practical we need blood group kit having three types of anti serum that is anti serum a anti serum b and third one is anti serum d in addition to that we need one glass slide divided into three uh, equal areas then we need a blood lancet spirit and cotton the principle of this method is that in this particular method we are going to estimate presence of antigen and formation of clumping of this R, this uh, rbc of the uh, blood Uh, with appropriate anti serum as far as procedure is concerned first we have to take clean glass slide then we have to divide area of this glass slide into three areas we have to label that area as a area a b and area d then we have to disinfect fingertip with spirit then we have to wait for 2 to 3 minute for this disinfection meanwhile we have to take two drop of this anti serum a in area label as a a on this glass slide then anti serum b in b area and anti serum d in area d labeled on this slide after disinfection of fingertip we have to prick that fingertip with sterile blood lancet and we have to add drop of blood in all these three types of anti serum then by using this mixing stick we have to mix blood with that anti serum after mixing 
we have to wait for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we have to observe whether there is formation of clumping of RBC with anti serum A, anti serum B and anti serum D. So, whether there is agglutination or not. So, if we will observe this slide, you can we can able to see that there is no formation of agglutination with anti serum A, there is no formation of agglutination. Uh, agglutination with anti serum B, but there is formation of agglutination with anti serum D. So, here in observation table, we have to note down whether there is agglutination or not. So, in this sample, there is formation of agglutination only in this anti serum D and no, no agglutination is formed in reaction mixture having this anti serum A and B. Therefore, here as far as blood group is concerned, there is no antigen A as well as there is no antigen B on surfaces of RBC. Therefore, blood group is O and there is recess factor on the RBC that is why blood group of this blood sample is O positive. Thank you, thank you very much.